One more. Loyola of Chicago, the Ramblers against Miami. 6-11 matchup. Tony Miller at the Golden Nugget here in Las Vegas told me the wrong team is favored. Miami is 2, 133.5 the total, 310 Eastern. Winner gets, uh, well, maybe Tennessee. And Wright State has a, could have something to say about that. Uh, it's a surprise. That, well, you saw this last year. Middle Tennessee was a 12. They were favored over Minnesota, the 5. And here Miami is the is the 6, and they're only laying 2. The numbers are strong. And you have my attention. I don't care what league you play in when you win 28 games. And Loyola went to Florida earlier this year and won. They don't foul. They play terrific defense, and they shoot the 3 well, Teddy. Sure. I mean, when you look at the statistical profile, it's an impressive statistical profile, no question. The offensive effective field goal percentage, number eight in the country. Three-point shooting percentage, number 13 in the country. Two-point shooting percentage, number 14 in the country. And total defense, number 24 in the country. You say, wow, those are really good stats. They won at Florida? Holy shit. This team's really good. Well, they lost at Boise 87 to 53. Their non-conference strength of schedule, with the exception of the Florida game, well, including the Florida game, their non-conference strength of schedule ranked number 315. The stat appeal is there. The stats are good for Loyola. Can they really bang with Miami? I mean, they got the point guard, Clayton Custer. (laughs) He's kind of a cool kid with a great name, Clayton Custer. 13 and a half points, four and a half assists per game. But Miami's talented. Miami has more talent than Loyola Chicago. But it's a young lineup that Jim Laranega has brought to the table. And then Miss Brown, who's been out for 12 games and don't have a go-to guy, uh, no player averages more than 12 points per game. That's something that could be concerned about. Their starters, Newton's a senior, Lawrence a junior, and you have a sophomore and two freshmen as well. Larin is a terrific coach, but could the size of Miami. Now, Loyola, even for a mid-major, though, they got a big guy down low. I watched that Missouri Valley tournament. They got a big guy down low who can play a little bit, too, and Loyola can shoot it uh, from three. But, what, what, well, what do you think about the size factor and what a possible wild card could be? Well, I mean – Duan Hewell's really good uh, for Miami. Uh, A low post defender who I think has potential to give Loyola a problem. But what you see now, what you see in March, is some random win from November against a team that wasn't focused, it wasn't paying attention, it was distracted, like the win Loyola had at Florida, has an enormous impact in the betting marketplace. I'm not buying the Ramblers as two points different than Miami. I know the markets are. I'm not. We'll get back to this game when it comes to play of the daytime. All right. Up next, we'll turn on the shot clock. The commercials we're already sick of. There'll be a lot of these coming up next on SportsBit. Betting Insight today on SBRPicks.com. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the game.